Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News family. In today's heartfelt video, we bring to you the latest updates on the passing of some truly remarkable individuals within the last 24 hours. As a part of the Immortal News family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact in our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us in this moment of reflection and tribute. Number 5. Jean Ann Carnahan, a pioneer in Missouri's political scene and a dedicated public worker, died at the age of 90. Her journey from being born into a working-class family in Washington, D.C. to becoming Missouri's first female U.S. senator demonstrates her perseverance, determination, and dedication to public service. Her scholastic accomplishments, as the first in her family to graduate from high school and college, laid the groundwork for her lifetime of success. In 1954, she married Mel Carnahan, which marked the start of a collaboration that would have a considerable impact on Missouri politics. Her job went beyond typical boundaries, as she actively supported her husband's political initiatives, demonstrating her intelligence and passion. From 1993 until 2000, she served as Missouri's First Lady, championing a variety of causes including on-site daycare centers, children immunization, funding for abuse shelters, arts promotion, and Habitat for Humanity. Her efforts to increase accessibility to the governor's mansion, as well as her campaign to raise funding for its repair, demonstrate her dedication to preserving history and encouraging transparency in governance. Her writing of books on Missouri history and speeches displays her strong attachment to the state and its people. Her literary talents not only enriched Missouri's cultural history, but also helped to restore historical landmarks. In a bittersweet twist of destiny, Jean was appointed as the United States Senator following her husband's posthumous election. Her term in the Senate was a watershed moment for Missouri, symbolizing the strength and potential of women in leadership positions. Her legacy is defined by her dedication to public service, advocacy for social causes, and pioneering position in Missouri's political landscape. Her life is an inspiration, demonstrating how determination and compassion can lead the path for meaningful change. Tributes to Jean Ann Carnahan. Number 4. Hal Buell, an outstanding American photographer and the esteemed chief of the Associated Press's Photography Service, passed away at the age of 92 from pneumonia. His astonishing career extended 40 years, during which time he dramatically influenced the landscape of photojournalism. His education, which included a degree from Northwestern University's Medill School of Journalism, provided the groundwork for his outstanding career. At the Associated Press, he oversaw an exceptional multinational staff of 300 photographers who played a critical role in documenting and distributing crucial moments around the world. His effect went beyond standard photojournalism. He wrote the critically praised books, Moments, the Pulitzer Prize-winning photographs, and Uncommon Valor, Common Virtue, which detail the work of war photographer Joe Rosenthal. His commitment to preserving historical narratives through photography established him as one of the most active archivists of the 20th and 21st centuries. His knowledge prompted him to give lectures all over the world, sharing his thoughts and experiences and solidifying his position as a prominent person in his industry. His editorial work defined print media coverage around the world, and his images appeared on major platforms such as CNN and the BBC. In addition to his journalism career, Buell made substantial contributions to children's literature. His photo books on Japan and Asia, inspired by his 1960s travels there, introduced young readers to other cultures. His work spans 35 nations, demonstrating a strong commitment to documenting varied human experiences. He also dabbled in film, producing documentaries for the History Channel, demonstrating his versatility and passion for storytelling. We remember Hal Buell as a visionary who not only witnessed history but also saved it for future generations. 
His career as a photographer, editor, author, and educator continues to be an inspiration in the field of photojournalism. Tributes to Hal Buell. Number 3. Annika Santos Manapon, a beloved person who gained widespread recognition through her grandson Chris Punsalan's TikTok posts, died quietly in her sleep at the age of 97. Annika's life was a tapestry of dedication and love, highlighted by her years as a public school teacher in the Philippines and her unwavering will to overcome health obstacles such as severe arthritis and osteoporosis. Chris Punsalan, a Filipino-American content creator, presented his grandmother's story and their friendship with over 2.5 million TikTok users. Their narrative originally captivated hearts in 2019, focusing on the daily lives of a devoted grandson and his aged grandmother. Chris's decision to become Annika's caretaker over seven years ago during his final semester of college demonstrates his commitment and deep affection for her. Choosing to care for Annika personally rather than seek external assistance demonstrated their strong closeness. Her influence went beyond her family. She impacted the lives of many others through her educational work and the beautiful peeks into her life she gave on social media. Her resilience, as well as Chris's dedication to assuring her comfort and happiness, inspired and admired many people all over the world. In his heartfelt tribute, Chris shared his profound love and serenity, knowing that she lived a happy life and died surrounded by family. During this trying period, they have found comfort in the support and compassion of their followers. Annika left a legacy of love, perseverance, and the enduring strength of family relationships. She will be remembered not only as a cherished grandma, but also as an example of grace and endurance, tributes to Annika Santos Manapon. My grandmother unfortunately passed away over the weekend. Um, thankfully, she went peacefully and um, she had lots of family around and uh, she was comfortable. Uh, Number two. Patrick McNamara, a mainstay in the acting profession, died peacefully at the age of 90. He was the embodiment of passion and tenacity in his craft. His path from the streets of New York to the pinnacle of the acting profession is one of inspiration and persistence. He went on to have a remarkable 60-year acting career after serving in the Navy during the Korean War. He distinguished himself as a full-time working actor, which is a rare feat in the competitive world of acting. His flexibility earned him appearances on and off Broadway, in playhouses across the country, and on large and small screens. His roles in legendary films like Silence of the Lambs and Fight Club, as well as TV episodes like M.A.S.H., Barney Miller, and NYPD Blue, demonstrate his immense talent and versatility. On Broadway, his performances in Brothers and The Iceman Cometh were particularly notable and his portrayal of Pado in Home is the Hero at the Irish Arts Centre in New York City in 1974 is unforgettable. He received a Drama Logue Award for his performance in Metamorphosis at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles in 1982. William Hickey, a fellow actor and friend, once referred to him as the best actor in America, a designation that suited his outstanding abilities. Regardless of his professional achievements, his heart was always with his family. As Uncle Pat, he was a revered figure in a huge family, known for his generosity, fascinating storytelling, and infectious laughter. He added delight and excitement to numerous family gatherings, never bragging about his accomplishments, and frequently surprising his relatives with his film appearances. His legacy extends beyond his professional successes. He was a beloved brother to five siblings and a devoted uncle to 15 nieces and nephews. He leaves behind a family who loved him and a world that revered him. This summer, a celebration of his life will take place in New York City.
tributes to Patrick McNamara. Today's top headlines. News 1. Actress Demi Moore recently opened up about coping with ex-husband Bruce Willis's battle with frontotemporal dementia. Speaking on Andy Cohen's Sirius XM show, Moore emphasized the importance of adapting to the changing dynamics within the family. She stressed the need to embrace loved ones as they are now, rather than clinging to who they were in the past. Moore and Willis, who were married from 1987 to 2000, share three daughters, Rumor, Scout, and Tallulah. Despite their divorce, they have maintained a close relationship, often seen together with Willis's current wife, Emma Hemming Willis, and their two daughters, Mabel and Evelyn. Moore's advice for those facing similar situations is to stay present and appreciate the joy and love that remains. Focusing on what individuals still offer rather than what has been lost due to their condition. News 2. Jerry Wampfler, a respected former offensive line coach for the Detroit Lions and other NFL teams, passed away at the age of 91. Known for his dedication to character and grit, Wampfler left a lasting impact both on and off the field. He was a figure of immense respect, embodying the hardworking spirit he instilled in his players. Wampler's coaching career spanned over two decades in the NFL, with a notable tenure at the Lions from 1989 to 1993. Under his guidance, the Lions, featuring stars like Barry Sanders, Lomas Brown, and Kevin Glover, achieved significant success, including a division title and a playoff victory. Remembered for his emphasis on character and perseverance, Wampler also established a grit award at his high school in Ohio, honoring linemen who exemplify dedication and strong character. His legacy in football is marked by his contributions to the sport and the values he championed. News 3. Former Queen City Council member Paul Vallone, recently serving as the Deputy Commissioner of the city's Veteran Services, passed away over the weekend due to an apparent heart attack at the age of 56. Vallone, a member of a notable political family in Queens, had a distinguished career in public service. Elected to the city council in 2014, Valona represented various parts of Queens, focusing on bringing city services closer to his district. He introduced nearly 800 pieces of legislation and was a strong proponent of participatory budgeting, engaging his constituents in the decision-making process. Valen's family has a long history in public service, with his father and grandfather both serving in significant roles. Mayor Eric Adams praised Vallone as a true public servant and New Yorker. Vallone is survived by his wife, Anna Marie, his children, Katana, Leah, and Charlie, and his parents. News 4. The Rockford Police Department is in mourning following the heartbreaking loss of K-9 Nix, a dedicated member of their team. Nix bravely gave her life in the line of duty during a response to a domestic situation. Alongside Officer Vargas, Nix courageously pursued the suspect, Malik Trotter. During the pursuit, Nix was tragically injured and later passed away. The community has come together in support and remembrance of Nix's valor. Nix, who joined the force in 2018, was known for her remarkable contributions and was the first female police dog in Rockford's history. Kathy Hansen from Friends of Rockford Police K-9 shared the invaluable role of K-9 units in ensuring community safety and the deep bond they share with their handlers. News 5. Hinako Ashihara, the renowned Japanese manga artist famous for the Sand Chronicles series, was found deceased at her Tokyo residence shortly after being reported missing. Ashihara, aged 50, was surrounded by speculations of a farewell note details of which remain undisclosed. In recent times, Ashihara shared her frustrations about a live-action TV adaptation of her manga on her blog. These posts, which were later removed, indicated her discontent with changes made by Nippon Television, diverging from what was initially agreed upon. The situation escalated among manga enthusiasts, prompting Ashihara to express regret over her remarks on social media. The dispute between Ashihara and Nippon, 
television over the series' direction was known, and following her untimely passing, the network extended its sympathies and acknowledged her involvement in approving the final scripts. The series gained popularity and Ashihara's other works, including Forbidden Dance and Bitter Nakachao Koi Monogatari, continue to be celebrated. News 6 the entertainment world is in mourning as renowned actor and comedian Victor Pinalis has passed away at the age of 59. Pinalis, admired for his comedic talent, breathed his last in the intensive care unit of Plaza de la Salud General Hospital following respiratory arrest. Pinalis' health had been a concern after he was hospitalized and intubated due to severe pneumonia that gravely affected his lungs. His battle with critical kidney failure and related health issues further complicated his condition. His passing has cast a wave of sadness across fans, colleagues, and the broader entertainment industry. Medios Telemicro, where Pinalis shone as a bright star with his exceptional humor, extended its deepest sympathies to his family, honoring his significant role in the television landscape. News 7 the house music world is mourning the loss of Michael Watford, a legendary vocalist known for his gospel-trained voice and significant contributions to the genre. Watford's son, Solomon, announced his father's passing, expressing gratitude for the outpouring of support from the house music community. While details about his cause of death were not disclosed, DJ Lenny Fontana shared in December that Watford was receiving hospice care. In response to the financial challenges faced by the family, a GoFundMe has been established to assist with funeral expenses, highlighting the often precarious financial situations artists endure. His illustrious career began in the early 90s in the Jersey house scene, achieving a Billboard dance chart number one with So Into You. He collaborated with renowned artists such as Carrie Chandler and Vogue and Masters at Work. His voice graced countless records and mixes, cementing his legacy in house music history. Tributes from family, friends, and peers continue to celebrate Watford's life and contributions to music. News 8. A cherished statue of Jackie Robinson, symbolizing the spirit of unity and perseverance in youth baseball, was tragically stolen and destroyed in Wichita. Erected by League 42, a nonprofit dedicated to honoring Robinson's legacy, the statue's loss has deeply affected the community. Discovered by firefighters responding to a blaze, what remained of the statue lay in ruins, severing a symbol of inspiration for many. Authorities are diligently seeking the culprits, urging those responsible to come forward. Amidst this heartbreaking event, League 42 vows to rebuild, launching a fundraising campaign to replace the statue and continue fostering hope and opportunity for young athletes. The incident, while disheartening, has rallied support far and wide, underscoring the enduring impact of Jackie Robinson's legacy on and off the baseball field. News 9. Sam Chapman bravely steps forward to share the heart-wrenching story of his son's tragic death, bringing to light the critical issue of child safety on social media. In a passionate plea before the Senate Judiciary Committee, Chapman and his wife, Dr. Laura Berman, advocate for Sammy's Law, aiming to implement parent monitoring software across all social media platforms. Their son, Sammy, fell victim to the dark side of these platforms, purchasing a lethal fake prescription pill through Snapchat in February 2021. The couple's relentless fight against the dangers children face online marks a significant moment in the ongoing debate over social media's responsibility in protecting its younger users. With the eyes of the nation upon them, Chapman and Berman join other affected families in a unified call for action, hoping to prevent further tragedies and ensure a safer digital environment for all children. News 10. Renowned jazz musician Tony Cedras has passed away, leaving a void in the hearts of music lovers worldwide. His wife, Tanya, announced that Tony succumbed to chronic emphysema just days after returning from a performance in the U.S. where he had been hospitalized for six months. The news of his passing has sparked a flood of tributes on social media, with fans and fellow musicians expressing their sorrow and admiration for Cedras's immense talent.
jazz icon Saifo Hotsticks Mabuse mourned the loss on his social media, calling Cedras a giant man with talent beyond belief and extending prayers to his family and friends. Tony Cedras's legacy as a brilliant jazz musician will undoubtedly live on through his music and the memories he created with his extraordinary talent. News 11. Lance Reddick's portrayal of Zeus in Percy Jackson and the Olympians marked the celebrated actor's last television role, following his passing at 60. The series finale paid tribute to Reddick, acknowledging his significant contribution to the show. Creators John Steinberg and Dan Schatz reflected on Reddick's exceptional talent and his ability to bring depth to the character of Zeus, emphasizing the loss felt by his sudden departure. His wife shared her appreciation for his involvement in the series, highlighting the perfect alignment of his final role with his illustrious career. As discussions about the future of Zeus's character unfold, the series faces the challenge of honoring Reddick's legacy in any subsequent casting decisions. Number one, Andrew Ellis, an amazing artist whose music and vision mesmerized audiences, passed away at the age of 47. His varied talent as a one-man band, in which he played guitar, drums, harmonica, and sang with a trademark raspy voice, wowed everyone who saw him perform. His wife, Mary Ellis, remembers the depth of his vocals and his devotion to his work, which provided for their family. His music was a mix of Americana, love songs, Delta blues, and other genres, all heavily influenced by his experiences and environment. Friends and fans, such as Ben and Haley George, were captivated to the emotional depth and distinctiveness of his music, forging ties that went beyond the artist-listener relationship. His musical path brought him from small venues like The Village Idiot in Mami to worldwide stages, where he performed for thousands of people at European music festivals. Andrew's European travels demonstrated his widespread appeal, with fans singing along to his songs in English, a poignant experience for him. His artistic activities went beyond music. He was an active painter and stained glass artist, holding his first solo show in 2019 and teaching stained glass in the family studio. His work in visual arts was as passionate and inventive as his music, portraying his trip experiences from all over the world. His affection for his family was deep. He shared his life and interests with his wife Mary, daughter Taylor, son Hank, and two grandchildren. Andrew's relationship with his family was important to everything he accomplished, whether it was music, art, or everyday life. Andrew Ellis leaves a legacy of artistic genius and a life filled with passion and love. His distinct musical and artistic voice will be sorely lost, but never forgotten. Tributes to Andrew Ellis